Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of an I Am Pendulum, welcome back to John Schaefer's At The Gate, and we're just having another little look at this, because last time out, we didn't really play that much of the game, we didn't really move time on very much, because we spent quite a lot of time explaining all the rules and the mechanics and how it all works and all that kind of stuff, because you know, it's a big 4X game, it's shiny and new and it's got lots of different features in, with the focus kind of being more on the units, on the clans themselves, rather than building up the settlements so as a consequence of having to go through how it all worked and you know trying to sort of explain what I was actually doing in the game we didn't really play that much so today I just want to kind of have another little dabble with it and just see what we can do like maybe we can do some diplomacy with these guys up here with the pink border because that seems like an obvious thing to do I want to get a little sort of explorer guy to come down here have a little wander around over here see what there is maybe we could move our camp a little sort of encampment move that somewhere else I don't know might be worth doing and then down here, were they like barbarians, whatever they are? Bandits. We could go and have a bit of a rumble with the bandits. Because I've not I've not done fighting. I haven't played this game as much as any, I would like. Anyway, near as much as I would like. But I, I think we could possibly go and have a little bit of a scrap with the bandits. To just see how combat works. Because that might be quite fun. So um, yeah, I just wanted to come back and just, just play a tiny bit more. Just to see what it was kind of all about when we're not in the very, very early game. So we've got 8 out of the 12 clans available. In 6 turns we're going to get another clan. Not got much in the way of treasure. We've spent that on quite a lot of stuff. We've got loads of food. We've got so much food. And then in terms of resources, we've got 6 timber, which is not brilliant. We need 10 to train us a potter, was it, I think, possibly. I've got some tools. Got quite a lot of weapons now. We found quite a few weapons from uh, up here. We found a battlefield, didn't we? So I think we bought some, and then we found some on old battlefield. So that's quite nice. Got some parchment, got some sheep, and we've started harvesting barley just here. I think that was right at the end of the last turn. So, okay, I think what's happening now is we're not training a clan. I think we're producing treasure because I don't think we want to train those guys up in anything just yet. Okay, so that's fine. So, okay, nothing much going on. Let's finish the turn. We shall roll round to the next turn. Now, I think the plan was that these guys down here... I can't use the cursor while it's moving through turns. There's some guys at the bottom on some trees just there. I think... There we go. I can train trappers. Lovely. These guys here are going to be doing some wood collecting. If we could do some foraging... Oh, they've run out of move points. That's a bit frustrating. Okay, yeah, because we've entered a particular piece of terrain that is uh, quite difficult for them to navigate through. In fact, it says there, different terrain types have different costs. Entering some, such as marshes, can even consume multiple turns. So that must be what's happened to those guys. What are they on? Uh, forests. I imagine a forest is a major terrain obstacle. Okay, yeah. So by them moving in there, it's taking them a while to sort of, you know, find their way through the dense trees and what have you. Okay, so that's unfortunate that they're just going to be sat there for a while. But never mind, it's it's all fine. So everyone's just sort of ticking over doing stuff. Um, in terms of training a clan again, we don't want to train a clan in anything. So let's produce some more treasure, which we can spend if the uh, merchant guy comes around. And let's move you guys over here. Let's get you guys over there. And I think we'll start trying to sort of maybe come down this way. Because we've discovered a lot of what's up there. We've discovered quite a bit of what's down here. We don't know what's over here. So we don't know what's one, two, three, four, five tiles away from our sort of little settlement. So I think that's probably worth exploring. So you come down here. Ooh. Hello. Who are you guys? You are neutrals. Oh. You're neutral people. But there are some people there. So who are you guys? Hang on. So do the, do the rollover thing again. Uh, there is a farmer from Clan Remshard and an archer from Clan Egmund and a neutral wheat farm. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, what's that? Oh, and a deserted village. Right, you make a beeline for this. Go to the deserted village and see what, that, what that's all about. Um, okay, so not studying a profession. What do we want to do? Now, I kind of want to get honour in now. Now we've got some weapons. I want to get honour. The only thing is, when we do this, when we research honour, we will be able to give one of our clans two free levels in the honour discipline. But we haven't got anybody free to do that right now, which is a bit of a shame. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame. I would love that to be a thing, but we need to wait until we get another clan in that might be a bit fighty. That might be quite nice. So what else can we get? What about bread makers? Uh, they double your production of wheat and barley. Uh, they consume two timber per turn. Oh my goodness me. But wheat and barley production across the tribe is doubled. Okay. 
sort of useful. We are gathering that. Is there anything else you want? Now, parchment makers would be useful, but I imagine we need loads of stuff. Yeah, we need loads of tools, which we don't have, and then various other bits and bobs as well. We get lots of parchment from, like, cattle and sheep and stuff, but that's something for the future, possibly. Uh, ranchers, what do they do? They can construct pastures. Okay, so they're doing that. Again, metalworking. We don't want to unlock that right now because we want to give a clan the free two levels, so we won't do that. These are still quite good. And then Discovery as well. My goodness me. Yeah, we need to, we need some more people. Right, okay. Okay. What can we get? How about wood bundlers? Wood bundlers double the production of your wood collectors. That might be quite useful. Training requires tools. When the caravan comes around, we might be able to buy that. So 10 tools to train them. But then when we do that, timber production is going to double from our wood collectors. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get that in now. That seems like a nice thing. Three turns. Not bad. And right, what was that again? I can train trappers. What were they again? Remind me. Trappers can have his parchment or cloth from animal herds by foraging. However, doing so depletes the herd much faster than producing with the help of a pasture. Right, okay. Now, what I think we were going to do, thinking about it, I think we were going to get these guys here to stop getting the wood from this tile. We were going to send them back into the settlement and retrain them. Because these guys here... Uh, clan Nan, Clan Nan. Uh, hang on, can we roll over Clan Nan, please? There we go. Um, they. Oh, it doesn't actually. Oh, hang on a minute. Can we just press the space bar? How can we find out more about them? How do we find out more about you? Okay, down here. I think they already had the wood collector thing anyway. Did they have that as part of their default sort of thing? Yeah, there you go. They started in the wood collector profession. And they're likely to get upset within a year if they're forced into a profession outside of crafting. So, yeah, that's probably a good thing. So we'll leave them doing that. They can be the woodcutters. That can be their thing. That can be their little clicky thing. And these guys here, the Einars, weren't really kind of fond of anything particularly. So we could send them back, send them back and get them to do something else. We could get them to have a different role. That might be a good thing. That's what we'll do eventually, but not right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep foraging. <laughs> Keep foraging. Sorry, I've, I've confused you there. I do apologise. Right, okay. So move it on to the next turn. Ideally, yeah, we want to get... We could do with that new clan coming in. Because we want to get kind of a, a huntery type thing going on. Because I want to figure out what those animals are over here. Because that would be really useful. However, we have got a lot of food. We've got a lot of food. These guys here, the Gerholds, are currently foraging these cows. They're as, uh, foraging. They're killing them. <laughs> they're hunting them very much to death, this herd of cattle. I mean, we could stop doing that. It might mean that our food will go into a deficit currently, but we've got 47 food to burn through, so that's fine. Why don't we send them over there to where these two unknown kind of things are and see what they are? Why don't we do that? Unidentified animals. Have a little wander over there. Ah, now you guys can start foraging, which is very exciting. Okay, and you have... Ah, you can't forage there anymore. You can't forage there because... It's too cold. Is that what it is? Is it because it's now cold and miserable? Yes, it's cold. Okay, so the Rhinolds could just come back. Maybe you can just come back home, Rhinolds, with your kind of crazy faces. There you go. And um, explore a guy. Uh, get the heck down here and try and get to this village. I don't think they're actually moving. They're not making a move for it, are they? I don't think they are. And this is looks like a bit of a sort of uh, a dead end bit there. So, okay, right. Settlement is idle. Um, again, don't really want to train those up particularly right now in anything. Um, do we want to train them up in... Hang on, do we have a plan for these guys? They've got crafting. Hang on, yeah, maybe we wanted to train them in potters. Because now we've got the 10 timber we need. We've got 10 timber. So we could train those in potters right now. It would take three turns. Or can we up their discipline in crafting? Cost one parchment, which we do have. It'll take one turn. Yeah, let's do that. So they can be trained up in crafting. We've burnt through a parchment. That's fine. Wood bundlers is what we're researching. Okay, and then, yeah, when next turn comes round, I imagine because they would have gone from level one discipline in crafting to level three discipline in crafting, they will be much quicker to learn the pottery thing. Now, I'll have to remind myself exactly what pottering does. <laughs> Potting? Pottering? Um, so, yeah, let's train those guys to become... Potters. So you guys become potters. However, can you remind me what potters do? 
Is that a thing you can tell me? Doubles the production of hunters, gatherers, and reapers. Yeah, that's very useful. We'll have one of those, please. And now it's one turn. So if I hadn't have leveled them up in their discipline, it would have taken three turns. But now I've kind of saved as a turn. So it took one turn to up their discipline with a bit of parchment. And now one turn to train them as a potter. So I've saved as a turn there. So yeah, there's a little bit of sort of tactics going on there. That's that's quite nice. Right, okay. Clans are idle. Who is idle? Ah, right. And the Reynolds can't really do anything. So you can just go back into the settlement. You can go back into the settlement. Maybe you could learn some new things as well. You could learn some new skills or whatever. Right, clans are idle. Who else is idle? Ah, right. You wander into this village. Ah, give us 30 monies. Okay, 30 treasure. Very nice. And what do you want to do now? Maybe we get you to come down here and have a little wander around here. Because we don't really know what's going on around here either. So yeah, come down here. Probably take you a long old time to get down there. But never mind. Okay. Kind of moving rapidly toward getting a new um, a new clan. It's not many turns now. It's not many turns. I do like the, the way the map changes. It looks very lovely. Like the snow. Snow sort of starts out here. Look, the snow starting over the mountains. Obviously a bit of a cold snap going on over here. And I've identified a large iron deposit. Oh, that is very good indeed. Right, you guys go to there. Can you identify those things, please? And you, the Waldemars, can you forage that? Can you actually get that? So you could get us some iron. Okay, that's very good. That is very good. Now, do you want to do that? Or do you want to put you over there and find out what that is? Or that, possibly. I think we just get some iron for now. Let's get some iron on the board. That might be quite a nice thing to have for us. <laughs> there we go. We'll do that. Uh, we're not training a clan. The Reynolds are just sort of sat there at the moment. Those guys, the Helmars, are now going to be in our settlement. Because they're potters. And the potters are a settled profession. They stay in there. They don't move. So a potter is not a sort of mobile thing that moves around the map. They sit there and don't do anything. But... Well, I said they don't do anything. They, they do potting. They make pots, I suppose. But um, yeah, they don't move around the map as a sort of mobile unit. So if we try and roll over that and go to there. So the production of hunters, gatherers and reapers. Okay, so at the minute that's not really doing much. Because our hunter is not particularly doing any hunting at the moment. The gatherers can't gather. And I don't even think we've got any reapers. <laughs> so I've trained a unit that we can't particularly use. Yay! <laughs> go us! Okay, let's find something else. That we want to get loggers. What do they do? They can construct logging camps. Ah. That's quite interesting. Uh, constructed from stone blocks. Ah, now we don't have any stone blocks. Block cutters. Block cutters produce stone blocks from stone. Training them requires tools. Two stone blocks from two stone each turn. We need to get into this metalworking tree, don't we? We need to get into there. Because at the moment we just don't. We don't have anything with this. We've got no sort of ability to do mining very well or anything. We've got very basic sort of mining knowledge. So, um, yeah, we need to get some better stuff going on. Right, you guys. You guys, come here. Come down into here, if you would be so kind. Go there, and then you guys can go home next time. That's fine. So let's train up. Ooh, I don't need to train up any of those in anything right now. Can we train the Reynolds in... Um, Anything exciting? Can we train them in a discipline? What? How much uh, parchment is that going to take? Two. Two parchment. Do we want to do that? Do you know what? Why not? Let's do it. We've got some parchment. Let, let's just get on with it. Let's make it happen. And then profession-wise, can we get like farmers then? Can we get a farmer? That'll be nice. That means we can construct a farm, one imagines. Um... Okay, so they can construct farms out of timber or stone blocks on plants and apiaries on beehives. These structures produce more than foraging with a gatherer or reaper. Okay, yeah, we'll get farmers, please. Absolutely. Right, finish our turn. What's that? Wood bundlers, yeah, large iron deposit. Finish the turn, see what happens. It's early December 400 AD. The weather's not looking great. It's looking very grim. It's miserable over here and cold and snowy. And it's raining just here. Just to make it even worse. Um, okay. One turn until a clan joins us. Right. Clans are idle. So you're the Einars. You can enter the settlement. And now, can we retrain you? Can we retrain those guys? What I would like is, they don't like... They don't like moving around. They're not very mobile. They're bow legs. They've got bandy legs. So I might get quite upset every few years if forced into an active profession 
when they're neither within the settlement nor the resident of a structure. So how about we train them into being a kind of, um, whatever they're called now, a passive thing, whatever they are, a settled kind of thing. So we could, in the long run, train them up in uh, the thing. What is it called? What is it called? This one. I don't want them to be explorers, however. I don't want them to be explorers. That's no use. <laughs> That's no use to us at all. So maybe we need to leave it for a bit. So let's produce some treasure right now. And eventually, yeah, we get another clan next time anyway. We need to get farming done. We need to get farming sorted. Uh, okay, right, that's all looking pretty good for now. Uh, you've got red, red flag thing. What does that mean? Are you having a little bit of a problem with your supplies or something strange? Are you having a bit of a thing? Supply exhausted. Okay, yeah, I bet there's not much in the way of supplies. So troops, I don't think I covered this last time. Um, uh, well, troops, units, clans, when they move around, they have to have a certain level of supply from the tiles they're moving to. And if they don't have that level of supply, so I guess that means they can find stuff to you know, subsist on as they're walking about. If they don't have that, they start taking damage because they're going to be starving or whatever. So these explorers, we've sent, right, okay, explorer clan, go and walk about and find stuff. And while the weather was nice, they were probably like, yeah, great, there's loads of stuff around here. There's berries and, you know, fruits on the trees and what have you, you know, little things that we can eat. Whereas now it's wintry, I guess that's not really working as well. So yeah, I bet that's causing a bit of a problem. So um, yeah, I can't quite see. Normally when you click on them, the supply thing comes up. Oh, there you go. It's like that. It's like that. Now, I don't know quite what they mean. Is green better than the yellow? I'm going to assume it is. Um, okay, okay, right. Let's finish our turn. I've clicked on them. I hope they just carry on digging iron out. But okay, right. Finish turn. Move on. Let's get a new clan. Okay, Clan Wilmot have joined, and they have some great traits. They are stubborn and intimidating. Oh, brilliant. Well, isn't that good? You might have to go and be fighty, Clan Wilmot. Let's have a look at you. Okay, right. You, you, you look slightly not like I imagined, but there you go. You don't look as intimidating as I'd imagined. <laughs> okay, maybe you're very good at like whispering threats or something. So no other clans in the tile can commit crimes, and they never engage in feuds. Well, that's actually quite good. And um, stubborn, plus two additional turns to train when switching disciplines. Okay, maybe, maybe we will not switch disciplines with those guys. Okay, right, so they're going to sit in there for now. Settlement is idle. Again, I want to get farmers done. We need to get that done. So then I think we unlock honour. And then we give these guys the two free honour points that they, we're going to get. And then, yeah, that will put them into one of the honour sort of track things that we've got. So, okay, how did we get... What are they then? Are they just straight on hunters? That just must be the first level thing that we can do in, in you know, we can, anyone could be trained up to be a hunter. So, okay, yeah, maybe we'll, that's what we'll do next time. Right, okay, so yes, produce some more treasure, please. Love the treasure. The treasure is nice. I think those guys are probably restocked. Yeah, so they've not run out of stuff anymore. That's fine. They're not sort of run out of their um, uh, supply, which is lovely. Um, okay, how many more turns? Seven more turns until the next, uh, the next clan join us. Uh, when you can afford to do so, clicking this button will spend five cloth and raise your support limit by six. That is quite exciting. Uh, and also, right, so the clans join us based on fame. Now, I hadn't noticed that. So we are increasing our fame by four per turn. You have 68 fame in your stockpile. What a curious concept. Ah, oh, I've got all this fame. Where can we put it? Let's chuck it over in the corner with all the other fame. Oh, all right. Okay, we'll do. Once you reach 96 fame, a new clan will join. Okay, yeah, so I see. So the more fame we have, the uh, quicker clans will join us. Okay, that kind of makes sense. Right, shifty time on. Also, it's only going to be six turns until the caravan comes around. Now, we could buy some more parchment with that. Or we could buy some cloth, possibly. It depends what it's selling. We'll have a look at what it's selling. It's right, good. Farmers can be trained. Yay. What we might be able to do as well is, is it worth doing the uh, changing those guys who are reapers into farmers? That might also be worth doing. Right, okay. Right now, let's study an honour-based profession. Let's go and study honour. So we'll study just the generic honour thing. And then, Wilmot... We will give you, no, sorry, wrong button, Discipline, Wilmot, Honour. And that doesn't cost anything, does it? That doesn't cost anything. It takes one turn and that's it. So we don't need to spend any parchment or anything. We're just telling them to go and do honourable things. Okay, so Honour, Honour. <laughs> there we go. Double, doubly honorous. Uh, right, clans are idle. Right, the Explorer guys, there's some more cows or whatever they are. Ooh, 
And there's a thing down there, potentially, to uh, potentially be a nice plant. And there's some berries as well. Some berries as well. Can explorers identify things? Can they identify things? Um, no. No, they can't. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, do we want them to wander about? Uh, yeah, go on, why not? Absolutely. No guts, no glory. It's all a bit snowy. I mean, it's it's not a very exciting landscape around that bit. It's just kind of flat. <laughs> it's just flat and snowy. Right. Okay. Let's see what next turn brings. We'll have honor, honor, and then we might be able to train up our new clan. So Clan Wilmot might then be able to become a thing. Although I suspect we might need to do something else. Right. So we can switch somebody to honor. Let's give the Wilmot the two free things. Heimar and Hel oh, so Helmar and Einar are now feuding. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Another clan wants Einar to be punished. Uh, when a clan is punished, it strips of its profession and discipline and its mood will permanently reduce by one level. Oh, good. Or those guys are saying another clan wants Helmar to be punished. When a clan is punished, it will be stripped of its profession and discipline. Oh, for goodness sake, you two. <laughs> Just stop arguing, would you? Stop arguing. A vicious quarrel has broken out between clan Einar and clan Helmar because of repeated clashes caused by spending too much time together. Each is demanding the other be punished in the settlement. Um, I wanted both of you two to stay in the same place. Um, okay. What do we do about this? I think with these guys, are, what do they do? What happens when we do it? Uh, stripped of its profession and discipline and its mood is permanently reduced. Well, we're going to possibly switch you guys round anyway. So it might annoy you. But to be fair, on your little picture, you look quite sad anyway. So do you know what? You're probably only going to get a little bit sadder. How bad could it be? Let's punish the Einars. So they've now gone, oh, I'm a little bit glum. I'm a little bit upset. Oh, dearie me. Uh, your morale's gone and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, also, you've lost all your skills and stuff. That's a bit harsh, isn't it? <laughs> it's like shooting myself in the foot. But okay. Um, and we can then retrain them. So now let's let's study a profession. Let's go up here. Right, okay. This is what we're talking about. This is a bit better. We've got huntsmen. Greatly increase the amount of meat produced by your hunters. That is a settled profession. Okay. Watchmen. Greatly extend your borders. Ah. They can allow you to harvest distant resource deposits by constructing watchtowers. Okay. That's exciting. Feast masters. They produce fame and training and request alcohol. Hurrah. Or archers. The first full-time warrior profession. Yeah. I think that might be what we do. I think we get archers. And we'll turn those guys into fighty people however right now let's get discovery because that means we can get two extra points free of the discovery discipline which will give to the clan that we just stripped of their tree cutting duties which is fine that's okay yes i've dealt with that that's fine uh, clans are idle supply is critical these guys are not having a good time let's bring them back home for now bring them back home what does dig in do each turn army is dug in, its defensive power increases. Do we need to keep telling them to dig in? Or do they just stay dug in until we undig them in? Dig in! Why not? Ooh! Spiky things. Lovely spiky things. The settlement is idle. Let's train. Can we train the Rhinolds to be farmers? So when the time comes, they can go farming. Yes, we can. It takes a mere one turn. Okay, yes. Do that, please. Okay, it's February in the year 401 and stuff is happening. So that is a herd of horses. Okay, that could be interesting. What do horses let us do? They can be harvested for meat by a hunter, parchment or cloth by a trapper, added to your stockpile and then used for other purposes by constructing a horse pasture on them. Okay, interesting. Helmar is happy and the settled clan can now get two levels in discovery. That's right, it's the Einars. Hooray! So now... What can we train? No, wrong, wrong thing. Hang on, study. What can we study down here? So, guides, law keepers, bards, traders, or surveyors. Oh, there's so much stuff. There are so many different roles that people can have. Oh my goodness. Right, guides, what do they do? They increase the production of all foragers by half. Okay, we've not got, no, we've got farm now. We're gonna have a farmer. A law keeper, they produce knowledge. Ah, that speeds up our research of this stuff because we get four knowledge produced per turn just by you know being there, by just having some people that know stuff. So they would increase it by quite a lot, actually. 
That is a significant increase. Bards produce fame. Ah, now fame would mean we get extra clans quicker. Um, traders produce treasure from trading posts out of timber on junctions where small rivers meet one another or a body of water. Um, okay. Or surveyors can identify any kind of anything. Right, these guys though, don't like being out and about. So there's no point training the new guys in that. Um, yeah, I don't know what we want them to... What do you want them to be? I kind of think law keepers might be a good thing. Law keepers might be a fun thing for them to be. Produce some knowledge, get more of these things unlocked. It doesn't mean we have to build these things, does it? It doesn't mean we have to train loggers or whatever, but we can do. I also noticed that there are uh, upgrades. There's upgrades just there. So how can we do that? So spend five horses to upgrade. Ah, okay. Right, that's interesting. That is interesting. Let's go for bards. What does that little thing do? A social profession. Right, what were they like with social professions? Hang on, did you care? Uh, that's only minus one move point. And animals was... Yeah, they didn't really care. They were just they didn't want to do the animal sort of thing. Okay, so let's go and train... Oh no, we were learning stuff, weren't we? Or we could... I'm dithering about now. We could go up here and learn... Let's learn archers. All right, it's done now. I'm going to learn some archers. And we're going to train the... Uh, we don't need to train anybody in anything particularly right now. We could train a clan. We could train you guys in discovery. Can we do that for one parchment? Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Einar can go from two to four for discovery. Yes, please. We'll do that. Cost us a parchment. That's absolutely fine. Clans are idle. All right, the farmers. The Reynolds are now trained as farmers. So they've got a little pitchfork. Okay. At the minute, enter the settlement. Because you can't do anything. You can't do anything right now because you can't go on there and do any farming because it's snowy and terrible. Okay, so I've moved time forward a little bit and it's now late March 401 AD. And look, colour has come back to the world. It's not snowy and terrible anymore. However, all sorts of stuff is going on. Right, we can train archers. Gotcha. Clovis has agreed to follow the religion of Alboin. Alboin has demanded a religious conversion from Clovis. Okay, right, so those things have happened. Right, okay, good. So you've done that. Do I need to click on that to accept it? And a caravan has arrived. Okay, let's see what the caravan has to offer. Okay, parchment. That could be quite useful. Until I can buy my, uh, sorry, make my own, that might be very useful indeed. So shall we get ourselves a bit of parchment? By five for 30, we've got 65 treasure. So yeah, we're pretty good at making treasure. So yeah, okay, we'll have that. Now stone blocks. Uh, I know we can't buy. I know we can. Uh, yeah, we can't buy those. We can't buy those because there's. It's not available. He's got rid of all those. It seems you'll earn additional eight for selling stone blocks. This caravan. Unfortunately, I can't because I don't have any. Because I don't know what stone is yet. I've not kind of got there. Um, tools. That might be a useful thing to purchase. Can we buy five for twenty-five, please? So we've got ten tools, which ten seems to be a good number to be training things in. This, you know, it's like ten. 10 timber to train a unit. I bet 10 tools to train another type of unit. So, uh, yeah, that's a good thing. So, there we go. So, we'll have that. And then we've only got 10 treasure left, which I don't think is going to get as much, is it? Um, we could buy five alcohol. I oh, know we could buy one alcohol. Oh, he's got five to sell. Okay, right, I see. He's got five available and uh, it's eight a pop. Wow. That's quite expensive alcohol. <laughs> Good grief. Wow. Okay, no, I'm I'm sorry. I'm not going to go for that. In fact, this is a terrible caravan. He, he didn't turn up with much, did he? He kind of came looking to buy all the stuff rather than to sell it. But okay. Um, um, right, okay. No, that'll do. Right, okay. So now we've got ourselves a clean slate. Look, we're not sort of learning anything. We're not training anybody. And everybody is sort of idle. So let's, let's train up the Wilmots. So train a clan as an archer. So it's going to cost five weapons. We've got 15, so that's fine. Train the Wilmots to be an archer. Yes, please. That is very exciting. Right, and now studying a profession. Let's go down here. Should we get law keepers just because we can? A social profession that produces knowledge. Why do we do that? Or bards to maybe speed up our clan thing? We do need at some point some method of getting um getting uh whatever it is whatever it is like um cloth how do we do that 
Where is that on this list? Let me see if I can find where cloth might be. I think we're going to really struggle to get cloth without buying it. So we've got a thing here. So weavers. Weavers produce cloth from wool or flax. We've got no flax. Now we do have some sheep. We do have some sheep and they will produce wool. However, to do that, we need to get ourselves a wool collector. So they produce wool, the amount being based on the number of sheep in your stockpile. The sheep are not harmed, obviously. That makes perfect sense. But you get four wool each turn when there's 20 sheep in your stockpile. Uh, stockpile. We've got three. So we're not going to be getting hardly any wool. That's going to be a pointless thing for us to learn. I'm not really sure how else we do this. I don't really know how we can get our hands on cloth without buying it all the time. I don't know. However, what is interesting is up here, because we've learned archers, it's opened up a whole load of other things. So we've got guild masters, which sound very exciting. So they produce treasure. Priests, they make knowledge, which is good. Honor guards make fame, and they can probably go and kill stuff as well. Lancers... You need horses, you need war horses, no less, and weapons, but I bet they can go and kill stuff. And uh, spearmen, good old spearmen, good old classic sort of, you know, frontline kind of guys. Uh, and that's you know, just the fighty folks, and they cost 20 weapons. So, I mean, it's opened up so much stuff. I'm amazed at how much stuff there is. I also like the fact that you don't have to research every single thing in this tier to move on to the next tier up. So once you've researched one thing in that particular tier, you can research whatever you like in the next tier above it, which is quite nice. I like that. So this is, oh, hang on, this is, hang on, is this knowledge? I'm confused now. Yeah, so we're training those guys up to be archers. What do we want to do? Do you know what? Shall we just get bards? Let's get bards and produce some fame and see what happens with that. Why not? We'll turn those guys who've got, who I give a ticking off to, into bards and we'll see what happens. Right, clans are idle. Right, you guys, construct a barley farm. Uh, why can you not do it right now? Cannot construct right now. Must be within your control. Oh, how do I get that? Right, control. Tell me, tooltip. Um, control can be expanded by expanding weapons to fortify a structure. Watchtowers are the one type of structure which can be built outside of your control, giving you the ability to protect your power at a distance should you be willing to make the investment. Hang on. Borders of control represent the tiles of which we have a direct ownership over. A solid coloured line. Right, okay, so the blue bit. Control is very important as within it your units will always have full supply and allow structures to be constructed which far exceed foraging in their economic output. Okay, but how can we use that to our advantage here? I want to build a farm on here. I've trained these guys up as farmers and they can't do anything because the farm is outside of the borders. Do I need to train up some watchmen? Is that what I need? Do I want to undo these guys being archers and turn them into watchmen? I do you know what next turn, right? You just uh, I don't really know what to do with you at the moment. You can't do it. You can't forage anymore because you've for some reason. This is what I do find a bit odd about this game. This is what I think is a little bit strange. These guys were foragers. So we've gone right. You learn foraging, and this is not one person. This is a clan with lots of families in it, and they grow and they consume the food and all that. So these guys, we've said, right, you family of folks, go and learn about foraging. And they went, okay, right, good, yes, we understand foraging. And they did foraging for many, many months. They foraged this stuff, and then winter came, and we moved it round. You know, we said, okay, right, don't be foragers, be farmers now. You've you've moved on a bit. So then it, it all of a sudden the knowledge of foraging has just gone poof, out of their head. <laughs> they have now no concept of foraging. They've got no idea what it is. So it's a bit weird because you think, hang on a minute, six months ago, you were foraging this barley. Just do it again. But it's now like they're just looking at the barley going, I, d I don't know what to do with it. I've, I don't know. What is this? What, what do we do with this? So it's barley. Just just pick it out the ground, which uh, anyone can do it. So yeah, I don't really know what to do with that. I'd love to do one of these, plant a barley plantation or a farm. But yeah, I can't seem to do that right now, which is unfortunate. Um, okay, can you come back here? Can you build a structure here? No. Can you build something on those? No. So you guys are largely useless right now. You guys are useless. Ah, right. Explorey man. Um, yeah, cancel your, cancel your making spikes thing. Come down here. Have a little wander down here and see what you can do. Or just move on to that. Ah, oh, it's on a marsh tile, isn't it? I forgot about that. Um, okay, well, you guys go back into there then. And just enter the settlement. Yeah, that... I don't I don't know how to expand the borders then. I'm not entirely sure how to do it. You fortify a building or you build watchtowers. Okay, maybe we need to get that into play then. Maybe the next people that join, we need to make them be watchmen or whatever it was. 
or guards, whatever it is, so we can start expanding our borders. Because at the moment, we're going to be a bit stuck. We're going to be a little bit stuck. Or do we get a miner or something? Right, Clan Varric, Epicure and Sensitive. Okay, <laughs> this looks intriguing. Oh my goodness me, look at your hair. Right, okay, they're just saying dot, dot, dot at us. They're sensitive. They might rarely engage in a mild feud. Okie dokie. And they are Epicure. They add two alcohol, two grapes, and two olives to the stockpile. Okay, uh, they don't want to be... Oh, likely to get quite upset if they're forced into a warrior profession. Well, that's just irritating, isn't it? Um, okay, they don't want to be an active profession outside of the settlement either. Okay, uh, and they don't want to spend winter outside of the settlement as well. <laughs> so they don't like getting their hands dirty. Right, okay, message understood. Um, let's train those guys. We could train those guys in metalworking. They don't, it doesn't say anything about that. They don't want to be warriors. And they don't want to be active. But I'm sure metalworking, we could get those guys back here, couldn't we? Could we do that? Just get them to just be metalworking. Yeah, let's train those guys in in metalworking. Why not? Yeah, all right. You can be our metal workers. Hello, welcome. Welcome to here. Do some metalworking, please. Uh, you can just enter the settlement because those farmers can't do anything. And until we've got this done, we can't really do anything else. So we need to get bards done and then see where we are from there. Because I don't know how to get um I don't know how to get the watchmen. Where are they? Watchmen is another three turns. Greatly extend the borders. Okay, yeah, we might need those then. Or do we build a mine on that? Hang on, what do you do? Your diggers. Can you build a mine? That would be great if you could, but I bet you can't. No. No, you can't. Okay, fine. Right, so we can't do that. Clans are idle. Um, the Wilmots. Oh, you're the archers. Ah-ha-ha. -ha. Okay. Um, right. Now, this is an interesting location we started, really, because we've got quite a good defensive load of trees just here. There's a lot of trees there, a nice defensive line. But it does mean that getting out this way is a bit of a pain. But okay, right. Walk to here then, please, my good sirs, and then get stuck in the trees for months. But okay, fine. Right, finish turn. Let's move things on. Ah, interestingly, I think those guys there who were chopping those trees down have actually reduced that tile to nothing. They have removed all of the trees from that tile. And now I look at it, just here, look, there's a little tiny, tiny bar at the top of there. I bet there was one there as well, because they, they did have people up here chopping those trees down as well. And there's one above that, look, which shows how much of that resource is left. That's intriguing. I hadn't noticed that before. Um, okay, right. We'll go and chop down some more trees just there. There you go. We Right, lovely. Uh, these guys can go exploring down there, see what there is over here. There's so much stuff. There's so much stuff. The settlement is idle. Okay. Uh, we've got six parchment. What do we want to do? Those guys are happy. They're a bit cross. Bards, we're going to get those trained in barding next time out. I think we produce some treasure for now. Ah, and that thing over here is another large herd of horses. So there's two lots of horses over there, which is intriguing. And we can train bards. Right, okay. Let's train the Einars then in being bards. So, uh, did, did I just do that? Train a clan in a profession. Bards. Cannot train right now. Okay, hang on. Oh, yeah, no, it is working. It is working. Uh, yeah, so they're going to become bards next turn, which is lovely. In the meantime, we can have a look at metalworking now. We can learn that. Give that to our new people who, you know, bought all the grapes and whatever it was they bought. They haven't appeared there. That must just be in the food sort of counter thing. But they bought the, the wine and the, <laughs> the beer, whatever it was, and some other nice things, olives or whatever it was. And, you know, pedicure. They don't like getting their hands dirty. So we're going to make them work with metal because they'll love that. So, yeah, we'll get metal working and see what that does. I want to be able to build a mine, ideally, and upgrade these guys from just sort of, you know, lumping this stuff out and going, ah, oh, well, the iron's all gone, to actually being able to you know, create a mine on there. And that might mean that we can then fortify that structure, which expands the borders, which means we could put a farm on this thing. I think that's what we might do. You guys, can you get over there somehow? Can you get to there and work out what that might be? Or do we want to bring you back here eventually? Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, don't do anything now. Don't do anything right now. Just leave it for now. All right, you guys. Hello, the girl holds. Can you come back and just kill some more of these or can you forage some horses each turn foraging will produce 10.5 meat 
How much would we get if we did that? Uh, I don't know. Not entirely sure. But it makes sense to do those ones because they're in our borders. But then I'm not that bothered. Do you know what? Let's just forage those horses. Absolutely. Go horse hunting. Sorry, horse loving people. Right, you guys go onto that hill. Oh, it's looking very hilly down here now, isn't it? It's looking very hilly indeed. And now these guys, I've kind of set them to just wander about over here. I'm just wondering what happens with these. I'm wondering what happens with bandits. Like, are they strong? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, unmounted bandits are easily driven off due to their low morale, but can still pose a threat to undefended structures and civilians. Stats. Little thing there. Click that to expand the panel. Two move points, two power. 50 morale, two vision. So two power. So what's our guy? What are you? How much? Oh, you got four power. Okay. So you're quite strong compared to them. Right. Maybe we'll go and have a little bit of a ruckus with these bad guys down here then. Okay, so let's give the Variks their little promotion thing in metalworking, which is nice. Right, what does that give us? If we go up into there now, metalworking. Right, kept miners. Absolutely. Miners can construct mines out of timber or stone blocks on minerals. Yes, please. We will have a miner. Thank you very much. That is very lovely. So that they'll be doing that. Right, I'm just going to check the help thing about territory again oh my goodness me right where is it in here somewhere wow okay whereabouts is it so i think once a structure is down so for example once there is a mine on that particular tile where the iron is we can just upgrade it by spending some weapons and that should then allow our borders to expand and we can build on this thing so i think that's what we're going to try and do let's try and do that that's a good goal isn't it also it looks like maybe a fight might be occurring. I'm tempted to dig in just here. If these guys are coming out to see me, shall we just dig in and see what happens? There we go. So we put some spiky things down. If they're going to come and fight me, we've now got a bit of extra defense, which is not a bad thing. And uh, you can get some wood, please. Yeah, absolutely. Go and do some wood chopping. Um, can you go to there? Oh, yeah, there's a little sort of mountain pass. Oh, they're quite well defended in there, aren't they? There are many spiky things around those guys. Wowee. They've got some super defense going on. Okay, the settlement is idle. So, right, what do we want to do now? Are they bards now? Oh, they are bards. Lovely. So now we should be generating more fame. Yeah, 10 fame per turn. Okay, that's very good. Okay, I like that. That's a good thing. Um, so they're now sitting there going, hello, we're bards. We don't need to do anything with them for a little while. Those guys are helping their potters. So what are they doing again? Remind me. Doubling the production of hunters, gatherers, and reapers. Okay, hunters. Uh, what have we got? Yeah, just a level one thing. Just a hunter. The first warrior profession. Okay, so hunters. So they're helping out there. So yeah, you guys can have to wait. Let's see. Can we just promote the Variks up a little bit then to get their skill up? Can we train the Variks in metalworking? Cost a bit of parchment, but yeah, why the heck not? Let's do that then. Okay, it's late June in the year 401. A caravan has arrived. So let's have a nosy at the caravan. Okay, nothing much. I want to get... How do I get cloth? I want to get cloth. It's not going to work, so we can't buy any of that. We could buy some grapes, although I don't quite know why we'd want to. What do we do with grapes? What do they let us do? Uh, convert it into food or turn them into alcohol with a winemaker. We haven't got one of those. Fine cloth. Ooh. Advanced resource mainly can be used to ennoble clans. This is to train them. What does that mean? How, what does ennobling a clan mean? Hang on. What does that mean? Once a ennobling a clan costs 10 fine cloth and 10 armor. Ah, okay, right. We definitely won't be able to do that. Ah, but they get a mood bonus, plus five fame per turn, and five levels in a discipline. Wowee. Okay, that's, that's quite good, isn't it? But I don't think we can do much else. I don't think we need to buy anything, really, do we? We've got 43 units of iron. So we could buy some tools off him. We could buy some weapons. We could buy some parchment. We could buy some alcohol. Um, okay, can we buy some alcohol? It's very expensive. Uh, do you know what? Let's not bother. Hang on, what's upgrade caravan? Did we look at this before? Spend treasure to bribe the caravan owner to bring a larger and more diverse quality uh, quantity of goods, starting with the next time they visit. Um, oh, there you go. After spending 10 treasure, future caravans will reliably have 5 cloth. Yeah, absolutely. Let's upgrade the caravan, please. Yes, bring us more fancier things, caravan man. Okay, let's see if we can have a fight. 
Let's see if we can have a little bit of a fight here. I don't know how this works. So you guys, you've got arrows and stuff. If we go to here, the battle forecast pops up and it says the enemy is crippled and driven off your victorious army left with only a few cuts and bruises. So do I now just sort of go, yes, okay, commence, oh, hang on a minute, no, press wrong, wrong button. Commence the attack. So we're going to shoot some arrows at them. Okay, so we get some XP and are they not dead, but they are massively wounded and they did run away. Okay, now these guys could possibly come in and finish them off, could they not? Or can they not fight? I know the explorers can't fight, can they? I don't think they can attack in any way, shape or form. Uh, explorers, um, they can neither attack enemies nor capture structures. Okay, fine. Uh, you guys just wander about then. You do some more exploring. Tis your job after all. But okay, so that's how fighting works. So there's power and a little sort of forecast thing appears at the top. I think the big thing for us now is just getting some miners in and then seeing if we can upgrade this thing to get us a farm over here. Then I think I'll be pretty happy. I'll be pretty happy with how all this works. Um, those guys are upgraded to five, so they should be able to come miners very soon. Nothing much for us to do. Let's make some treasure. Oh, there was a fighty noise. There's a fighty happening. Oh, and there we go. The fighting has ended because the barbarians, whatever they are, the baddies, the bandits, are dead. Hooray! <laughs> Big dead bandits. Okay, now... Is there another unit in there? Oh, I can't see them. Hang on, come around this way. Ah, yeah, now that's interesting. So yeah, the line of sight is affected by um, sort of forests and hills and stuff. Yeah, but they are in there. They are probably better defended because they've got the massive big load of spikes around them. But okay, uh, you guys wander up there. Uh, no, we didn't want to do that. Wander up that way. Have a little look at what's going on up there. Right, what else is going on? New clan has joined. Clan Everard, you look ferocious, Clan Everard, and you're afraid of water. <laughs> really? Really? You don't look like you're afraid of anything, but right you are. So afraid of water, so you don't want to go into marshes and you don't want to do water-based professions. Okay, right. So you don't want to be like fishermen or anything. Gotcha. And you eat more food. Brilliant. Well, aren't you guys tremendous? So you don't like water and you eat a lot. Splendid. Right. Th thanks for joining. Brilliant. Right. What do you want to do now? Oh, look at the amount of stuff you get. Anvil makers, smelters, weaponsmiths. Harvesting iron with a digger and then having a weaponsmith. They can turn iron, which we have, into weapons. Oh, it's lovely. Blacksmiths. I bet they make tools. Dredgers. Uh, double the production of the diggers. Ah, okay, right. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, oh, there's, there's so many things. Right, okay. What do we want to, what do we want to research? I think let's get Watchmen. We kind of could do with that anyway. Let's see if we can expand our borders that way. So now, if we can train those guys, train a clan and a profession, go up, miners, make the Varics be miners. It takes one turn. Right, okay, so we're slowly getting there. Yes, we can do that. Right, we need to maybe move those off of there next time. Maybe we'll swap them around. So in theory, we could retrain them. But okay, right, move it on. I have received a gift from Rome. Oh, that's nice of them. Hello, Rome. The Romans have provided you with a gift of five food in exchange for your loyal service. What loyal service is that? I'm going to try and overthrow you at some point, but okay. Right, so the miners are in. Right, you guys go back that way. Lovely. Right, and you enter the settlement, the Waldemars. Right, and then you guys go there. Oh, is that going to take ages because it's on a marsh tile? Oh, for goodness sake, everything takes a long time. Right, what's the battle forecast? The enemy's left rattled, your, your army maimed, but still able to limp away. Yeah, they've dug in. They've dug in, look. So 3.7 attack power, 5 defense power. I think we need more people in here. We need more kind of stuff around. So these guys on their own are not going to be able to do that. Let's bring them back this way. We'll just sort of stick them near the edge somewhere. These guys can go a-wandering. Okay, so Clan Varric can now construct as an iron mine. So how does this all work? They are a structure constructed by miners, okay, which harvest iron, which can be refined into tools, weapons, and other stuff. Okay, so just do that then. So it's going to take you two turns to do that. Meanwhile, I've put these guys in position. So as soon as we've done whatever it is we need to do with this mine, they can then get on with making a farm, which is a good thing. So at the minute, kind of stuff's just ticking by. Uh, you can skip your turn for now. Uh, the explorer guy's just having a lovely one day. He's just really far away. But what's that? It's a little thing just there. What's that? Is that bees? Beehive. Oh, well, that's really far away. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Oh, I'd love to get some honey in this, but never mind. And uh, I've moved those guys that were doing the mining over here to identify that deposit. That might take a little while. But okay, right. Move time on.
and our final clan of our current kind of support limit have joined and it's clan Alram. They are fastidious and vigorous. What does that mean? Oh, they look fighty. He's got a hat on. So vigorous plus one move point. Fastidious training time is doubled. Resource production increased by half. Resource production from constructed structures increased by half. One move point and plus one power. Oh, they're very good. They're good for soldiers. For fighting, because they can move, so they can move around the map quicker and get into good strategic positions quicker. But also, they are good at making production y based things. So, yeah, so you know, they'd be good at building stuff. I don't really know what to do. What do we do with you guys? I don't know right now. Um, okay, let's get the Everards. We got ourselves watchmen. Let's train the Everards to be a watch person's, watchmen's, and see what that does. Meanwhile, you guys can sort of just dig in and just sort of sit there. That's fine. You guys can skip your turn and you can have a wander and go and look at the bees. Yay, bees! Okay, the upgraded caravan has arrived and he does indeed have cloth that you could buy. So yeah, he's got quite a bit. He's got five cloth. So we could go, yes, I'll buy some cloth, please. Um... And I don't have enough treasure, so I can't afford any more because I've got three cloth. How much did we need to do this stuff up there to increase our support cap? Um, five cloth. Oh, that's frustrating. We're just ever so slightly shy. But the upgraded caravan is probably worth doing. I bet that's worth doing quite early. Also, that's now done. So that thing is done. The iron mine is done. Right. Fortify this. So and expand the control range of this structure. I know it's done it already, look. Building that has kind of given that a uh, control range. Ah, okay, that's interesting. Now, if we did fortify that, it might stretch to that there and we could go and build on that as well. And then, for example, if we were on here with a mine, we might be able to then say, uh, fortify this, which would expand its control range, maybe include those two things there, which meant we can get two more farms. Right, okay, I see how that works. Right, so you guys, uh, the Reynolds, can now produce a barley farm. Okay, so that takes some wood. They're going to build a farm. Right, and these are the watchmen. Uh, well, okay, let's go over there then and see if you construct a watchtower. You can't construct it right now. Why not? Oh, I lack timber. Okay, right, so you need timber for that. Clans are idle. Exploring man, go up there. Oh, look, you can't really do much more up there. And with our newfound knowledge of how the borders work, and also with the completion of our first permanent structure there, our little sort of iron mine, which is very lovely, I think that is a very good point to call it quits for at the gates right now. You get the picture. You sort of know how it works now with the different clans getting their different jobs and all that kind of stuff. And you can retrain them as the game goes on, which I guess is kind of part of the skill involved in it, making sure that you're getting the right clans doing the right jobs for what you need them to do at the right time and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's very good. I do like it. It's very slow. It's very methodical. It will require quite a lot of planning. Now, I imagine if I were to carry on with my playthrough, it would all go to pieces because, you know, I've not really planned very much. I've just sort of uh, played it by ear a little bit and I've been learning as I go along. But yeah, it requires a lot of planning. Well, I didn't really show this off. There's a little tool so you can right click on a, on a tile and you can put notes. So you can put note here and then do that and accept that. And a little thing pops up, it says note here. So you could write little notes down saying, you know, advance to here, build watchtower here. This is interesting. Go find out what this thing is, that kind of stuff. So I quite like that in as well. So I imagine, you know, you could have a map covered with notes and you'd go through and kind of work your way through your little sort of job list or whatever. You could say like, right, job number one, find out mineral deposits. Job number two, go and get fish. Job number three, go find out what that is up there. So, you know, you can use the notes to sort that out as well. So yeah, it's very methodical. It's very slow paced. And yeah, that's, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Some people love that in a strategy game. Turn base, it's all lovely. You get time to think about stuff. Have a nice cup of tea while you're doing it. And yeah, I like it. I'm impressed. I like the fact that it's different enough to other games to kind of make it interesting. And, you know, you know, it's got a whole set of sort of different skills and challenges as you're playing it. But, yeah, I probably will play this as much as I can. I'd love to finish this game. I imagine I'll get absolutely stamped on by everyone else. It's taken me this long to build a mine and a farm. Whereas everyone else is probably doing quite well. But, uh, you know, I'm going to try and play as much as I can. But, yeah, we'll finish it up on the channel for now. Because I have a feeling this could be a very, very long series. If it were to be 
it come a series. We could be plagued this for absolutely months. And I don't know if that is a thing that people particularly want to see. So yeah, we'll wrap it up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I really hope you've enjoyed this. You know, maybe I've uh, opened your eyes to this game. You've gone and taken a look at it yourself. If you have enjoyed this, then please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe just to keep up to date with all the other stuff that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Right, everyone, give me your money. Give me all the monies. The music is very sinister. I'm not sure I particularly like the music. Fire the catapult. Oh, what a shot, catapult man. Right, okay, they're knocking the wall down. They're not, the wall is coming down. Oh, God, some of them are huge. Oh, God, people are dying. Oh, it's lovely. I've got a watermelon.